to go to Mutsundo with my sister today and this is me getting ready and actually my base is already done I don't use foundation I use this Dio Forever Skin Concealer as the foundation and then I do this Milk Makeup Contouring around here, 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 here and around my chin as well and then I also use normally use this drunk elephant but it's already empty so I mix this with the this milk makeup cheek this is called Gluima Glow Oil Lip and Cheek I usually go around here and then like tap and blend it in And I also do around my nose because we want it to be like um sun kiss. This is what happens when I watch a lot of Vogue makeup videos because a lot of celebrity doing this, like putting cheeks around their nose. So yeah, that's what happened. I'm going to cover my lashes a little. I bought this recently and it's kind of life changing. I usually put this before I put on any makeup but today I just woke up like 10 minutes ago and I was totally forgot to do it. So this is the lip scrub from Revlon. This one, Revlon Skin Kiss. Yeah, I think it's not bad. And then going to do my eyeliner. I use eyebrow as the eyeliner, which I think is kind of random, but I don't care. Okay, and then I always do like a little wing here, so that's what I'm going to do. Like that, a little baby wing. Going to do the same from this line. Okay, I think it's great. And then this remaining eyebrow powder, I do this all the time. And brush up my eyebrow. The next thing I'm going to do is the mascara. I think this is not a mascara, this is like mascara base. I don't like to do uh, a lot of mascara, so I like to bring my eyes when I apply the mascara thing because I think it's easier. What I like about this mascara base is that I can take them off with the hot water usually i think it's kind of hard to take off mascara 100 percent and on the lashes a little because we wanted to make our eyes bigger but not too much and then i'm going to apply this mimc concealer whitening concealer around here because i have kind a lot of acne scarring what I like about this product is that this has the whitening functions. We can whiten the scars. I mean, we can conceal the scars, but at the same time, we can heal the scars as well. And this one is also good for our skin, not too heavy, not too light. And the coverage is quite good. And I will leave it like three or five minutes so that meanwhile i am going to do highlight i'm going to use this milk makeup highlighter i really want a different highlighter but i'm just lazy to get on the new highlight highlighter so that's what i'm using this i mean it does the job so why not just keep using it i just apply around here here and here and then take a little bit to my finger then tap then around here like that blend that in with my finger everything and then the eyeshadow i use this rms beauty eyeshadow the color is called tempting touch i've been using this literally over three years i bought this when i was freshman in the college 
so literally using three or four or i i can't do math right now so yeah i'm lazy to get a new one i will be using this like maybe until 30 or something because it doesn't go away i think it goes well with everything so oh my god i have a runny nose today i don't know why maybe it's cold outside and take the beauty blender and i'm going to blend the concealer that i applied earlier i highly recommend this concealer it's kind of expensive but i think it lasts like four or five years it cost me like kusayen but i think it's worth it last but not least i'm going to finish my makeup with the makeup keeping spray i bought this recently and i think it does the job and then you have to shake this before you're using it right and then do this okay i think it's dried i'm going to take off the scrub with the tissue so these are lipstick that i'm using right now this is the worm water this is the lip pencil from mac and the color is called world and then this is the i've been using this like quite a long time this is the shadow Tilbury pillow talk and then this is the elf lip pumping glass i'm going to apply lip liner first And then I'm going to apply this Shara Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. I love how neutral color this is. It goes well with everything and I think no one hates this color. It looks really pinky on this camera. I don't know why. But anyway, this keep going. And then I'm gonna apply this e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. Okay, this is it. This is my recent natural makeup look. So I'm gonna change my outfit. I haven't decided what to wear today because it's kind of cold. The day before yesterday was really hot, like 27 degrees. And then today is like 20 degrees and I don't know what to wear. So I'll see you later. So my camera battery has been charged finally. And this, this is the fit what I'm wearing. Thrifted jacket and then this top is from H&M. I don't want to talk about it. And this jeans is also thrifted. Yeah, and then this is the samba. I've been wearing this since I got it. It's so cute. It's just so cute. So my sister is insisting to eat something fresh and healthy. So we are going to get, even if it's really cold outside, we are going to eat the acai bowl, which sounds crazy. And my mirror is so dirty. And I have to clean this thing up anyway bye been spending the day with my old self hiding in silence in the bathroom of the motel so my sister and i had this delicious amazing acai bowl but it was too cold weather for this so we decided to go grab something hot and keep us warm there's a blue moon rising yeah, there's a blue moon rising there's a blue moon rising and then after we chilled at the cafe we went to Higma Donuts and Coffee and got iced matcha latte because the sun was out and the matcha latte of that store was so good I would give 10 out of 10 this is our favorite matcha. So we were sitting at the bench, feeling the warmth of the sun and chatting. And one 
other good thing happened to me while we are getting donuts, which I'll talk about later of this video. Mmm. Mmm. So I just got back and um, I ran into Joy, my favorite favorite YouTuber. And I've been watching her vlogs all the time, like as long as I remember. And then, yeah, I was like, when I saw her, I was like, oh my god, is she Joy or is she, is she real? I might be wrong, but yeah, she was Joy. And um, I talked to her like, excuse me, are you Joy? And then like, uh, we've been like messaging these past days. Yeah, anyway, she was the sweetest person I've ever met. I was so lucky to run into her. She's my favorite YouTuber. I'm so lucky girl. The lucky girl syndrome is working, literally working. That's what happened today. I really don't like vlogging in public, so I didn't record anything, but yeah, I'm so tired. I think I'm gonna make uh, dinner a little bit earlier, but... This is the dinner. I don't know why, but I was craving salad, so it's just some brown rice. And this is the dressing that I have to use up, so 